Okay friends, I had a comment in my videos if I can add uh, modal confirmation when we delete the user and that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's open the VS Code and I'm going to open the user index page and here we have the link to delete the user. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this link and I'm going to add a button. So let's say button and on click of this button I'm going to open a modal. So let's say on click and let's say uh, confirm delete user. So confirm delete user. We don't have that method that I'm going to create. So when we click to this I'm going to fire this method confirm delete user and let's give it some classes. I'm going to just copy and paste here, change text from green to be red. Okay. And then let's say delete. Now I'm going to create the method here, which is going to open the modal. So down there, I'm going to say const with that name and what this is going to be is going is going to do is just going to change the state to open the model. So I'm going to create a state here. Let's say const uh, show confirm delete user model, and initially is going to be equal with ref and false by default and then this is going to change that the true so let's say show confirm delete sorry here show confirm delete user modal dot value to be true okay and here if i open the modal we have a modal in the components here we can see is going to define a props for, for show max width and closable. So we need to add a property show max width if we want to change this, which is a to Excel and uh, closable. Okay, and based on that show is going to show and hide also is going to hide with escape. And let's do that. First, let's import the model up here. And I'm going to move this on on top. And now let's say import the model from components. And also because we are here, I'm going to import the danger button from components. And let's import the secondary button from components. And now down there, Let's add the modal. So let's say modal and say show. Now the show is going to be based on this state. So paste that state here. And also I'm going to add close emit here. And on close the emit, I'm going to create a close modal method. So Let's see now inside the model. Okay, here now first I'm going to add a div with a class to be margin to be pattern of six. And inside I'm going to add a H2 to say, are you sure you want to delete the user? Then I'm going to add another div just with class to say margin top of a six and it's going to be flex because here's going to be the buttons or delete or the close the cancel and let's say space x to four and now let's paste here the danger button and on this let's So when we click this one, now I want to delete the user. So let's say 
delete user and we need to pass here the user.id and let's say on delete then let's add the secondary button and on click of this button I want to close the model so let's say close model and I'm going to say cancel okay we don't have the close model and the delete user so let's see first what we have here if I refresh and let's click delete and yeah we have something like this okay uh, yeah we need to create the close model method so let's copy that and let's come up here I'm going to create a constant with that name which is going to be equal with an arrow function and here what I'm going to do just I'm going to change this to false back so change back to false and if I save now and let's open the browser refresh let's say delete cancel delete escape key okay work now let's work with the delete user because here we said on click of the button we are going to delete the user and we added the user id so now let's create that a constant with that name we send the people and here we need to add the id of the user and then let's say oh we can delete the user i'm going to fire a form event so i'm going to import also the use form from inertia and then let's uh, just create a constant to be able with so constant for people with use form an empty object and down there i'm going to call that form dot delete that's going to be a delete and the route is going to be users dot destroy and we need to pass here the id okay and it's going to delete the user but let's add an option so if we have a success what i want to do is to close the model so let's say close model call the close model and this is going to close the model so when we click the when we delete the user for sure we need to close the model and i think we are okay so close model and let's see now yep uh, we have a problem with the uh, route we don't need this here and now we are okay now let's delete the test user so let's say delete let's say cancel first if i say delete now confirm deletion and yeah is deleted okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best